But what about this area? What about this, this place? Um, so Linda asked me to do two things. She asked me to um, do some artwork for um, an exhibit in the visitor center. And um, she wanted it to be relevant to this place. And it's right down my alley. So uh, I came here and I, I spent a day here taking photographs and really kind of um, getting a sense of this place. Um, I'm not from here. And what, um, what I came up with on my visit was, was this, this picture here. Um, these red pines and the, the estuary down there really lends itself to, to a temporary encampment. I don't think there was a permanent village here at all. Um, there were times where people would come to a place like this, set up camp for a few days while they harvest a specific resource. In this case, sweet grass. You can see the sweet grass hanging on the line. I'm all too familiar uh, with this. In fact, the only thing missing from this picture is cats, house cats trying to get up at the sweet grass as it's hanging because my wife gathers sweet grass and she hangs it in the house and our cats like go nuts. They really, it's like catnip or something. But it is this place, it, it, it is from a picture um, that I took here. So it, it's relevant to here, um, but it is a, a probable um, piece. So this is all about making birch bark canoes and paddling birch bark canoes. And it seems like a little hodgepodge of images. Um, but it was all inspired by this, which says Joe Ranko, which was an advertisement, uh, a historic advertisement. And it says, um, expert guide and canoe builder, Joe Ranko. Uh, canoes built to order for sale or let. Indian guide furnishing parties. Manufactured, manufactory and wharf at Cape Arundel near Indian Point, Kennebunkport, Maine. Joe Ranko um, occupied a space and a time here uh, in the Wells area after colonization where Native Americans were pushed out and had migrated north. Um, when he was here, there weren't very many Native Americans living locally, and he was asserting a traditional craft here. I know Joe. Um, Joe Renko is actually in my family some sort of great-great-grandfather um, to me. This image has got some blueprints on how to make a birch bark canoe. It's got images of people both historically and one was taken just about 10 years ago uh, as we had a birch bark making class, birch bark canoe making class in the community. Uh, one of the images is of me paddling a birch bark canoe. Another one is of my wife paddling. Um, so it's something that is still relevant in our community today, uh, but also very historic. And, you know, this is the reason why I chose these two pieces. They are, they are tied together um, by way of the canoe, but they're also tied together by place. And um, I think that it's, um, I think I, I like them both and I wish I could keep them, but... Um, <laughs> I took pictures with my phone, is that, I, don't know. I, I think I'll be okay.